Cool, right? Yeah, it's been a while. Alright, so I haven't done a vlog in a very long time, and I figured I would um, sit down and actually do it. You really probably haven't seen me put up a video since Negatwins, and if you want to go watch those, um, I'll put a link in the description to the Negatwins videos, which uh, happened while I was living um, with David, and now I think it's just weird getting back into solo vlogging again, so I'm just gonna jump right in and see what happens. I feel like it'll be a good outlet for me again. Speaking of outlets and need of inspiration, um, the Olympics in Pochang have been on and I've been absorbing everything I can except curling. I'm not really trying to be mean, but curling, I just can't, I can't. It's a rock. There was also a scandal that the Russians were juicing to play curling. Do they juice to, to, to mop or sweep or whatever that's or to, to let the stone go. Cause they never like throw the stone. They just kind of let it, let it go. Uh, Russia, <laughs> oh Russia. Like some of the other, <laughs> the other parts of the Olympics, like I understand why you might, you might be tempted with some steroids to like attempt the big air or like the half pipe or, I mean, figure skating even cause uh, geez, but cur curling. <laughs> One, it's a shock that the Russians have a curling team. Two, that they needed to ju <laughs> they needed to juice to do anything with it. This year I think is really different though because it's a lot of my generation actually watching them and knowing who who are who are the competitors. Um, so that's really interesting to me because people like Gus Kenworthy, Adam Rippon, for some reason, whenever I turn the TV on, it was always the guy's stuff instead of the girl's. So I've just kind of watched what I can. And I've been focusing more on um, figure skating, if anything. So I'm gonna divert into my figure skating tyrant. I've been doing a lot of research into it because the last four years or so, I was writing a character who had started figure skating early on and and I was doing some research. When you search figure skating online, two people come up and they're a nice dancing pair. And I highly recommend you go and watch every performance they've ever done because they're fantastic and they're gonna be on tonight. They are two-time gold, two-time silver medalists, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore. And they have what it takes. Like, they're just fantastic. If you wanna see something really inspirational, go and watch their free skate to Moulin Rouge. Oh my God. It's fantastic. And I know what sets them apart is that they took some time off from competition this last couple of years to work in the entertainment beat. So they were professional ice dancers really focusing on their creative outlets and their creativity, which is really cool that they can come back and still still be the standard of everything. But yeah, I have like a tiny, huge obsess obsession with them and I'm really excited to see them win gold tonight. I'm recording this before their free program, so they better win gold. <laughs> the Americans have a team that are a sibling duo, the Shib Sibs. They have a vlog, and they've been vlogging their kind of progress through um, ice skating, which is really cool because you never get to see the behind the scenes of things, and I'm slowly catching up in their videos, and they're just really great people to watch, like they're very entertaining. So I will link them in the description as well. I would love to take a lesson or two, I mean. I might have to vlog that and see how well that ends, but... I gotta talk about Adam Rippon for like a second because his charm with the media cracks me up because no one knows what to do with his answers, but everything he says makes sense. Watching all the male figure skaters, it's very interesting because he is somehow very strong and very fluid at the same time, but he, he skates flawlessly. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It's really great. I love the media's reaction to... To, this, to the quippy things he says in interviews, he's just great. I hope he's commentating one day, honestly. Pairs and ice dance are two separate things, apparently. So if you've been watching the Olympics and thought, oh, this couple already went and skated, so we're done with the couples, now we can move on to the guys and the girls, um, short and free skates. You were wrong, because ice dancing, that's a thing. Um, and apparently no one cares about pairs. I looked this up last night and, and I, I really enjoyed watching the pairs, but apparently nobody cares about them because ice dancing is way more fun to watch, which it is. But yes, tonight is ice dancing free skate, which is not themed or anything like that. So I believe that means that they get to pick their music. They get to pick whatever they want to do. Um, it's very, very open. It's free. So it's entertaining to watch. And as soon as it's up on YouTube, if you guys didn't watch it live, you should check it out. 
Going back to figure skating, the men's figure skating has already happened. There's a guy, Javier Fernandez, who just won bronze, I believe it was, and was the first figure skater to win a medal, period, for his country at all. So that was really cool to watch. There were a couple figure skaters that people thought were gonna win gold, like Nathan Chen, and um, just didn't, but that was because his, apparently when you do it, your short program number, is added on to your free skate number. He didn't do so well in his short program, but he did fantastically in his free program. So if you get to watch it, watch the free program, because he was throwing out quadruple everything, all these quads like all over the place. I think he was the first guy to do six quads, or to attempt six quads, I think he landed five. Um, which is interesting, because apparently back the beginning of figure skating, they weren't doing so many quads and those jumps. Um, you know, you only had to have like two of them in your program, but lately, the younger generation has come in and started adding three, four, five quads to their lineup. So if you want to be on a podium with any kind of metal, you got to have so many quads, you, you got to have way more than two quads in your program, um, which is cool because that's how like sports grow in a way and um, jumps are really cool to watch, especially when they land them. If you want to check out anyone who looks like an anime character, Hanyu, I, I don't remember what his first name is, but Hanyu, he's known for Pooh Bears. He just won gold again. He's the first back-to-back -back gold medalist for men's figure skating, I believe, in like a long time. Um, he's Japanese and he's like the sweetest looking dude. <laughs> he's so cute. And when he talks to interviewers, they... He did his short program and like blew it out of the water. And apparently he'd had this really big injury and nobody knew if he could do it. And he just did quad, quad, quad. Like he just, the NBC interviewer didn't know what to do with his response. She asked him, how do you feel about your program and how you did and everything. And he just giggled. He literally giggled and was like, well, I'm back. So I highly recommend that you tune in to the Olympics. They've been really inspiring me to kind of push myself and try to do something different. Because I think I'm going to do recommended shows, movies, whatever I'm interested in at the moment. Obsessions, I guess. My recommended. My recommended, that's what it'll be. My recommended is Yuri on Ice. It really shows you the breakdown of how Grand Prix and how figure skating works. So if you are interested in figure skating but you don't want to read like a whole Wikipedia page about like how everything is scored, how everything's graded or everything like that, Find, it's English dubbed, find it, watch for a couple episodes, and you'll kind of get the hang of how it goes. Um, I can't recognize jumps or anything like that, but I've been able to slowly start to notice full revolutions and if they're actually landing it um, the correct way or not. Um, especially with pairs, you can see crash landing and stuff like that. Um, which is not as bad as it sounds. Crash landing sounds really bad, but it's literally just not as clean, like a lift, like they land on their shoulder instead. Yeah, so I have a couple of vlogs planned. I'm gonna go see Black Panther in a little bit, but uh, I think that's everything. Oh God, it's just, it's too funny to me. <laughs> they were juicy. <laughs> Two separate things apparently. So if you're watching the Olympics and you're like, oh, okay, the couple's already skated. Now we're just doing the male and the female. My brother just fell in the shower or something. That was beautiful. You're not home alone. <laughs>